Kyle, welcome funny. to the side. How you doing? Hey, hey. There I'm doing go. all right, man. I am happy to report that I am on a new audio interface, everyone. Yes. So we're going to have a quick little gear talk. Gear talk. Gear talk. <laughs> <laughs> so I did a lot of research as to what kind of audio interface I want to get, including making a gear talk with you and Eve. And I just sent that to you um, yesterday. And so it's fresh on my mind. I just got this thing. So check this out. I got this thing last Thursday, and literally, I got a Focusrite Claret 2 preamp. It's $500, okay? And this thing, I went to bed. I turned it off after setting it up, and everything was working perfectly. And the next morning, it just, my computer didn't see it anymore. It just did <laughs> not work at all anymore, like literally yeah. the next day. So I'm like getting up to do my live stream and my computer interface just doesn't, it's just not happening. And I like, I just bought this yesterday for 500 bucks. I tested it. I did a test live stream. It was perfect. What's going on? So I took it back to Guitar Center. And the, the, really the, the moral of the story is hallelujah for stores. Because if we end up where the only way you can get an audio interface is by the, the internet or something, yeah. you have to like send it back and like pay extra shipping and wait for the replacement, and they gotta like process your order and it takes six weeks. So I mean, seriously, I was thank goodness for the store. I took my receipt in, I took my computer, and I said, "Yo, this isn't working." And they were like, yeah, it's not. They couldn't make it work. And then they swipped, switched it over for another one, made that work made sure it was set up perfectly, and then sent me on my way. So yeah. hallelujah for stores, and this one's working incredible. So I'm hoping I just got a lemon. <laughs> it's the exact <laughs> same thing. But if something's going to fail, you want it to fail like right away when you can still return it and get another one, right? So yeah. thank goodness they had another <laughs> one in the store. If you know, I didn't have to wait for them to even like send one from another store. Luckily, they had another one on the shelf. And it sounds great, doesn't it? I think it sounds great. Anyway, um, so what do you want to talk about? Do you want to add some of my gear talk here? What do you know about the Focusrite Claret 2 Pre? Well, um, <laughs> you're, you're, you're talking right now, and it and it, there's a weird little staticky uh, pattern. I was trying to huh? – uh, I, I clicked on the live stream to see if it's on there. Hmm. It's not on the live stream. So, okay, it's just on Zoom. So that was <laughs> – because you're saying that. I was thinking, uh-oh, I got to be the guy to <laughs> – so it's – you know, maybe it may all go away. It, it could be the mic cord too, because it was uh, almost like a 60 cycle crackle, which I don't even know if that's, I, I guess if you digitize the 60 cycle hum or something, I, I don't know. I'm just guessing there. Say something again, just. Mm, okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's what's weird. And it's I, apparently it's just a Zoom thing. So anyway. No, it's, it's extra weird because, no, this is why we're doing this. Because yeah. I, I did a test with my wife after I got the new one, and she said my voice sounded weird on Zoom, but I did a test live stream unlisted on YouTube, and I played it back for both of us on the television in the living room, and it sounded perfect. It was clear, yeah. and I'm like, whoa, so I guess Zoom just doesn't like this. I don't, oh, man. Well, at least it sounds good for you guys, and that's yeah. really important. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah, God. when when you sent that uh, gear thing, I was thinking like, oh, I forgot that 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 was going to be its own little thing. So I, I had fun. I actually uh, filmed like a little, um, uh, I, I guess, uh, header video for it. Like a, since, you know, I talked about the two interfaces, I have like my cheap one and then my studio one. So, you know, I focused in on my Behringer, was talking about it, and you know, because it's like I could, I could touch it. I, I'm petting it, right? Okay, no, it's, it's actually right beyond petting distance. Because us musicians, we pet our mixers. Yeah. <laughs> right on. Well, so that know, was that was cool. cool to. Yeah, it was fun to you know have a like a different train of thought, a thought you know, mm -hmm. for uh, gear and streaming and whatnot. So. Well, I didn't know when I did that that we were gonna make a video out of it per se, but it was more like 
yesterday I was editing and I made the intro and then we did the gear talk before we even started the first react. And so I was like, hey, this could be its own video. Why not? And like we won't have yeah. any monetization issues on it because, you know, there's no copyrighted material in it. So we were just like talking about stuff. So like, hey, that's a pretty cool video idea. And then, you know, then yeah. Kyle can make his own thing on it. And Eve can make put her own spin on it. All right. Let me grab the box real quick. I'll show you all what I bought, what you're hearing me through. And then we'll yeah, go sure. ahead and get started with our first reaction. Thank you cool. all for enjoying Gear Talk. Gear talk. <laughs> this is what I use for, for streaming. Cheap Behringer mixer has usb that comes out you can plug in your regular existing audio equipment your guitars your microphones your whatnot drum machines and that converts it right to usb i was showing people my uh the behringer i went ahead and grabbed it cool so why did i get the claret 2 pre usb um why did i spend 500 dollars instead of 170 for the Focusrite 2 Scarlet 2i, basically the counterpart. The difference is latency. I, I do online music lessons, right? And so if I can reduce that latency, even in half, right? I mean, that just makes a huge difference, right? To be able to express, to be able for me to say accompany you, say like, say Kyle, say you took a voice lesson and you wanted to like sing uh, the cover of Shallow with somebody is a duet. So yeah. I was teaching you the guy part, right? Wouldn't you want my guitar accompaniment to be like on time with your singing? <laughs> right? Instead so of like, see. it's kind yeah, of instead really of a important. horse gallop. Yeah. Right. So that's, that's the reason why I decided to spend the money here. And um, guys, uh, I really, really, really would appreciate you all if you would go ahead and support the studio. Uh, I got four ways you can support me. In addition to so instant support right now, you could do uh, Super Chat. Just click the little dollar sign next to the chat button, um, and you can send money right now to the studio to help to reimburse for this uh, expensive equipment I just got. You can also go to Patreon. I got weekly bonus videos every single week. There's a upload on Patreon. I just put out a reaction to Elite Bata's Leaving on a Jet Plane, John Denver. You can only see that if you pay a dollar a month on Patreon. Guys, I need to get some income coming for the studio. Patreon.com slash Matthew's Music Lesson Studio. The nonprofit way to support is weekly. Liberapay.com slash Matthew's Music. I get the most money there. Please send me whatever. Even a dollar a week would be incredible. You can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com and get stoked. Get stoked. Yeah, I got my stoke. Kopi Monocopi to all my leapers here. Uh, and that's buymeacoffee.com slash Matthews Music. And finally, send me a tip on Venmo at Matthews Music. Okay, that's enough of all this promotional stuff. Thank you all <laughs> for enjoying Gear Talk.